Hello students, good morning. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. So today we will discuss the devices used with computers. Lesson number 3 of computer, okay? You are well aware of the four main parts of a computer. There are some other devices that are used to work with the computer. The different devices used with computer can be categorized into three groups. Students, you already know the four main parts of a computer and now we will discuss about its devices. There are three devices. These are input device, output device and storage devices. The input devices are keyboard, mouse, ex scanner, etc. And the output devices are monitor, printer, speaker, etc. And the storage devices are hard disk, compact disk, pen drive, etc. Okay. These devices are interconnected to each other with the help of wires in order to work. Okay. Now let's discuss about its input devices. Okay. What are input devices? The devices that are used to give instructions to the computer or tell the computer what to do are called input devices. Some of the input devices are input devices. Which devices we used to give instruction to the computer and tell the computer what to do. That devices are called input devices. And now we will discuss the input devices. First one is keyboard. Okay. A keyboard is an input device that is used to give instruction to the computer by typing text and numbers. It has a small buttons called keys. Keyboard. We use a keyboard to typing text and numbers. What we need to give instruction to the computer? We can use the keyboard by typing text and numbers. And it has some small buttons and these small buttons are called keys. Okay. Next is mouse. Mouse is an input device that sends instruction to the computer with the click of a button. It is used to draw pictures and for selecting objects in the computer. It is also known as a pointing device. Mouse. Mouse is also an input device. It is used to send instruction to the computer by click a button. It has three buttons. Right click, left click and a wheel in center. Okay, it is also known as pointing device. Now next is scanner. Scanner is an input device that is used to send paper document or images into the computer. It works like a photocopier machine. When we need to send paper documents or images to the computer, we can use the scanner. It works like a photocopier machine. Okay. Next is joystick. Joystick is an input device which is used to play games on a computer. Joystick. You can see this in this picture. It is called joystick and this device is used to play games on a computer. Next is microphone. The microphone is an input device which is used to record voice, music and sounds. This can be stored on a computer. You can see this. This is called microphone. It is also an input device and this device is used to record our voice, record music or sounds and this music, voice, sounds can be stored on a computer. Okay students, now let's discuss about its output devices. Okay. Output devices. After processing the result, we get its get is called the output the devices through which we get these results or outputs are called output devices some of the commonly used output devices are after giving instruction the cpu processed it and give a result this result is called output and through which we get the result the devices are called output devices now let's discuss about the output devices first one is monitor 
The monitor is an output device that looks like a television screen. It is also known as a visual display unit or VDU. The front portion of the monitor is called the screen. The monitor shows you the data that you input and its result after the computer processes it. Monitor. It is an output device. And this monitor looks like a television. You can see in this picture, this is a monitor and it looks like a television and it also known as visual display unit in short form vdu v for visual d for display and u for unit and the first portion of the monitor is called screen and when we sorry when we give instruction to the computer and process it and after that when we get its result it shows in the monitor okay now let's discuss about printer the printer is an important output device it is used to print on paper the result of the work done by the computer the printer is used to print on paper it prints text images and after processing when we get the result on the monitor screen this is called soft copy and when the result we print on a paper it's called its hard copy okay now let's discuss about speakers speakers are output devices that are used for hearing music voice and sounds on a computer using a speaker we can hear the voice music sounds on a computer okay next is headphones headphones are small speakers that are on over the ears so that the sound from the computer goes into the ears of the person wearing the headphones did not cause any disturbance to others headphones are small speakers and it can be plugged into the computer and it helps us to hear the sounds without disturbing others okay now let's discuss about the storage devices Storage devices. In computers, we use different storage devices to store our work permanently so that we can get it back as and when needed. Okay. In storage devices, we can use our, sorry, we can store our work permanently and we can get them back when needed. And there are different types of storage devices. Let's discuss about this. First one is hard disk. Hard disk is rectangular in shape. It is fixed inside the CPU box. We cannot take it out of the CPU box. It can store a huge amount of information that can be used very quickly anytime. Hard disk. This hard disk is rectangular in shape and it is fixed inside the CPU box. This hard disk can be store a huge amount of information but we cannot take it out of the CPU box. It is fixed inside the CPU box. Now let's discuss the compact disk. Normally we call it a CD. The disk is round in shape. It is a portable storage device. We used a CD by inserting it in a CD-ROM drive slot which is inside the CPU box. The storage capacity of a CD is high, but it is less than the hard disk. CDs are two types. CDR means read only and CDRW means read and write. We can only read the data from CDR, but we can read as well as write data on CDRW. Okay. Compact disk in short form, it is called CD. C for compact, D for disk and its shape is round it is a portable storage device means we can carry sorry we can carry it from one place to another the cds are two types first one is cdr read only and second one is cdrw read and write we can store data in this compact disk but it is less than the hard disk Next is digital versatile disk. 
Digital versatile disk or DVD is used to store a huge amount of data. The storage capacity of a DVD is more than a CD. DVD in short form, sorry, digital versatile disk in short form DVD. D for digital, V for versatile, D for disk. Okay, it is also round in shape and it can store huge amount of data than CD. Next is pen drive. It is also known as flash drive. The computer has special parts for pen drive. They are called the USB ports. We can plug the pen drive into the USB port to store data in it. Pen drive. It is also known as flash drive. And it can be plugged in the USB port. It is small in size. So we can carry it easily and transfer data into the computer okay okay students i hope you all are understood well so read this lesson at your home to understood well so that's it for today thank you